that's how we would have to view it, yes. Mr O'Brien, I discussed this yesterday with other people, but if you look at um, verses 11 and 12 of chapter 2, yes, let a woman learn in silence with full submissiveness. Does the church apply that? Sorry, I missed that question. The right. words are, let a woman learn in silence with full submissiveness. Does the church apply that injunction today? Yes, uh, as far as, if you go back in context in verse 8 and 9, it's talking there about men carrying on prayer in the congregation, so it's not just in her home. So in the congregation setting, the women are not assigned to teach. Well, no more than that, are they to learn in silence? Are we... We understand women are free to comment at our meetings, but under the direction and oversight of a man, one of the elders is a teacher. He can invite a woman to comment on point, but it's, he is the one doing the teaching. So you don't apply that in those terms? Not literally that she can't speak in the congregation meeting. It goes on, I do not permit a woman to teach. Do you apply that? Yes, so the woman doesn't teach in, in the congregation. That, that's the context of the chapter here. Or to exercise authority over a man, but she is to remain silent. Yes. Do you apply that? Yes, in, in the context of the congregation, again, not in the home or in the general preaching work, which is not a congregation teaching, and that, that's why no, women, women do teach, they just can't teach in the congregation. Is that the idea? That's the point, yes. Um, 